Hi, my name is Amy and I'm a science communicator at Plymouth Marine Laboratory. We're here today in Plymouth, Britain's ocean city, which is a real hub for marine research, conservation and citizen science initiatives. Today is a fantastic example of the marine science and conservation community, citizens and visitors of Plymouth coming together to do a BioBlitz. But if you haven't joined one before, you may be wondering, what is a BioBlitz? A BioBlitz is a survey of a specific area to identify and record as many species of plants, animals, fungi and other wildlife as possible. From wildflowers to crustaceans, butterflies and bird life, all wildlife counts. And during this particular BioBlitz, we will be using the iNaturalist application to record our findings along the rocky shoreline. But why is it important to monitor biodiversity? Let's go ask Quilly, a scientist at Plymouth Marine Laboratory. Hi Quilly. Hi Amy. So during this BioBlitz, we're looking in these rock pools to see what biodiversity is there. But what is biodiversity and why is it so important? So biodiversity refers to the variety of life in any particular ecosystem or habitat. And this includes all life, so the plant species, animal species, microorganisms and ecosystems that they create, as well as the genetic diversity within each of these species. And biodiversity is really crucial because it helps ecosystems to function and it makes them more resilient to change. A biodiverse ecosystem is strong and healthy and every species in it, no matter how small, really helps to keep the environment in balance. Some of these animals break down waste, others mix the sediment and the nutrients. For example, you get invertebrates such as worms, which play a really essential role because they build tunnels and burrows and tubes that help to shape the sediment. There are predators and scavengers and filter feeders, and many of these are food for other creatures too, and they all work together to keep the ecosystems healthy. This variety really helps ecosystems to withstand changes to the environment and keep thriving. So it's really important to monitor how and why these populations change through different seasons, years and even decades so that we can make sure that we're taking good care of them. These bioblitzes are a great way for people to get involved in citizen science. But I want to know how do we know what is out there in the open ocean? So let's ask Tom Mesher, a benthic ecologist at Plymouth Marine Laboratory. Hi Tom. Hi Amy. I'm curious, what do you do as a benthic ecologist? Together with our team, we study uh, the life that's on the seabed, uh, what we call the benthos. Plymouth Marine Laboratory regularly go out to station L4, which is offshore the coast of Plymouth in the Western Channel Observatory. We've been researching this area since 2008 to understand how it's changing through climate change and human activities. The first thing we do on a benthic survey is collect environmental measurements like water temperature, depth and conductivity to give context to our data. We then use a box corer to collect intact plugs of sediment from the seabed. We search through the sample, identifying and weighing species in situ, returning species that we can ID on board back to the sea. Any species that we can't identify on board form the sample that we take back to the lab for analysis. We do this only six times a year to limit our impact. So during the BioBlitz we use the iNaturalist app, take a photo and then an expert will identify what species it is. How does that differ to what you do when you do the benthic survey? So it is quite different from, from what we do at the BioBlitz. So let's go back to the lab and I'll show you what we do. 